Hello, my name's Tina McDonald. As always, thank you for joining me today. Today's counselling conversation is going to be around NLP, which is Neuro Linguistic Programming. Um, it's an area of interest because it kind of, it looks at how you can work with your brain in one way and it's not helpful so therefore you move it to a different direction, which is an area of interest for myself. The research project looking into the benefits of this by uh, Frank Bork is, is really helpful because it shows that, that you know there is some science behind it. Um, the people that were involved with it originally, um, Fritz Perls, who worked at the Gestalt Theory in Counselling, which is a, another video that we will look at, Ericsson and uh, Sahir. These were people who were, you know, quite pioneering of their day and they were very interested in, in looking at things that were happening within the brain. Very, very concerned with the brain taking over and getting itself into an unhelpful pattern and people not realising that through working with this pattern you can alter its process and, and it moves into a different direction. So to break it down, N, neuro, that's looking at the communication and the behavioural side of how we all work as human beings. And the NLP working with the neuro side of it is about developing positive mind maps and looking at changing those processes. Linguistic, so the linguistic side of things is about our mind, the way we work and how we do this how we do our verbal communication and how our body and our non-verbal communication, how they are also part of the picture. So the NLP side of the linguistic is that it helps develop brain patterns around language patterns and that it accesses the unconscious information and content of our body language and the way that we form words and the way that certain words mean different things to us and, and fit into that, that programming pattern. The programming side of the NLP is the capacity to alter what we think and that's how the NLP works. It looks at, you know, we, we talk about autopilot behaviours. That's really the nut and bolts, the, the internal small stuff and the external small stuff. And it's about helping to reprogram the unhelpful to be helpful. We know that this works because we know that the research tells us positive affirmations, mantras, you know, all of those things. There's that saying of, you know, fake it until you make it when it comes to learning a new skill and to a certain extent that's NLP in action because if you genuinely believe that you can you know engage with a pattern and it's going to be a positive thing then that's how it works for you. Inner conversations as we've talked before in our inner critic um, and finding that kind voice this then takes into that attitude it also takes in, you know, the full mindset of things. So the four kind of foundations of NLP, one is rapport. So it's understanding the importance of how you interact and create trust with others, with yourself and with others in a social context. Two is the sensory awareness, so colours, smells, sounds, as we've said before, you know, actually even words. All of those things are things that we interact with, sometimes on a conscious, sometimes on an unconscious level. And with NLP, they're all taken into account. So outcome thinking, com communicating with what you want. What do I want from this meeting? What do I want from this interaction with another human being? So it's about, it's okay to have goals and it's okay about looking at where you want to be, but it's looking at the whole picture inside and out of you in that interaction. And then lastly, it's about behavioural flexibility. And I think this is the stumbling block. This is the 
the crux of how we move one process into another. We have to have fresh perspective and we have to have habits that that are positive and that they that they are there because they're there for a reason. So that we move from the autopilot of, well, that's just what I do, that's just how I am. And we actually say, but I could move that to somewhere else. Should it be helpful? Should I want to? It's not about changing who you are, it's about changing with the process and the engagement of how you move things forward. So that was our whistle stop tour of NLP. And again, I just think these things might be helpful to let you know that they are out there. There are people who specifically work this way as a pluralistic counsellor, if we were working together, then some of this, particularly the behavioural flexibility and the belief that we can change the autopilot side of things are something that perhaps we bring into our counselling conversation if we were working together. So as always, no recommendations, but just putting it out there of interest that it might be something that, that you believe you see in yourself and that you want support with a counsellor to look at why it would be helpful to change. Thank you as always for your time. Please subscribe, leave some comments and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye bye.